For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Nvidia and Palantir have dominated headlines as two of the stock market's most impressive performers. Nvidia's remarkable 179.6% year-to-date rise has propelled it to become the second most valuable company in the world. On the other hand, Palantir's impressive 153.3% gain. Additionally, Palantir's success has earned it a place in the prestigious S&P 500 index, signaling its emergence as a significant force in the stock market. As key contributors to the AI revolution, both companies stand to benefit from the long-term growth prospects that AI presents. However, despite their shared involvement in AI, a critical difference between these two companies may determine which one is the better investment moving forward. Nvidia's extraordinary surge in 2024 has brought it to a valuation multiple of 47.5 times its estimated earnings for January 2025. To put this into context, the S&P 500 index, which includes many large cap stocks, trades at a more modest 24.7 times earnings. This means Nvidia's valuation is nearly twice as high as the broader market. However, with analysts projecting NVIDIA's earnings per share to increase to $4.01 by the end of January 2026, NVIDIA's forward valuation decreases to 33.6 times earnings, which appears more reasonable for a company of its size and growth potential. It is important to recognize that NVIDIA is not a typical mega cap stock. It has established itself as a dominant player in the AI sector, and its growth trajectory reflects the increasing demand for its cutting edge technology. Despite its relatively high valuation, NVIDIA's potential to grow earnings per share by over 40% in the coming year makes it an attractive option for investors willing to pay a premium for long-term growth. While some value-oriented investors may argue that Nvidia's price-to-earnings multiple is elevated, the company's growth prospects and leadership provide strong justifications for its higher-than-average valuation. On the other hand, Palantir stock has also experienced significant gains in 2024, surging by 153%. However, this impressive rise has driven its valuation to an extraordinary level. Currently, Palantir is trading at 122 point four times its estimated earnings for December 2024, which is more than double NVIDIA's valuation. To further illustrate the disparity, Palantir's valuation is approximately five times higher than the broader market. While Palantir's earnings per share are expected to grow by 19.4% to 43 cents per share by December 2025, the stock's forward valuation remains extremely high at 100.8 times earnings. This triple-digit multiple indicates that Palantir is priced for perfection, and any misstep could lead to a sharp decline in its share price. The high expectations placed on Palantir create a situation where the company has little room for error, making it a riskier investment compared to Nvidia. In addition to the price-to-earnings ratio, another important metric to consider when evaluating high-growth companies is the price-to-sales ratio. This ratio is particularly relevant for technology and software companies, where sales growth often outpaces earnings growth. When comparing Nvidia and Palantir based on this metric, Palantir appears even more expensive Expensive. Palantir is currently trading at a price-to-sales ratio of 35.3, while Nvidia trades at a lower, albeit still high, 26.3 times sales. This indicates that while both companies are valued at premium levels, Palantir's valuation is significantly higher relative to its revenue. The price-to-earnings-to-growth ratio provides another useful lens for evaluating growth stocks like Nvidia and Palantir. A lower peg ratio generally suggests that a stock is undervalued relative to its growth prospects, with a PG ratio of 1.0 or lower considered ideal. In this comparison, Nvidia has a PG ratio of 1.8, which is higher than the ideal, but still within a reasonable reasonable range for a high-growth company. In contrast, Palantir's ratio is a much higher 10.4, indicating that it is significantly overvalued, even when accounting for its expected earnings growth. While Palantir remains an exciting company with a strong growth potential, its extremely high valuation leaves it vulnerable to sudden drops in share price if the company fails to meet analyst expectations or encounters any unforeseen challenges. Investors should be aware of the risks associated with such a high valuation, as any shortfall could could lead to a rapid decline in the stock's value. Turning to Wall Street's perspective, there is a clear difference in how analysts view Nvidia and Palantir. Nvidia currently holds a strong buy consensus rating with 39 buy recommendations, 3 hold recommendations, and no sell ratings over the past 3 months. 
The average target price for NVIDIA's stock is $152.86, which suggests a potential upside of 10.7% from current levels. In contrast, Palantir has a hold consensus rating from Wall Street analysts with four buy recommendations, six hold recommendations, and six sell recommendations over the same three-month period. The average price target for Palantir is $27.67, implying a potential downside of 36.2% from its current trading price. This stark contrast in analyst sentiment highlights the higher level of caution surrounding Palantir's stock. Furthermore, Nvidia also scores highly on TipRank's proprietary smart score system, which evaluates stocks based on eight key market factors, including fundamentals, technicals, and sentiment. NVIDIA boasts an outperform rating with a smart score of 9 out of 10, indicating strong bullish momentum. On the other hand, Palantir receives a neutral rating with a smart score of 4, reflecting a less favorable outlook. Both NVIDIA and Palantir are set to experience significant earnings growth in the coming year, but NVIDIA is projected to outpace Palantir in the regard. NVIDIA is expected to grow its earnings by more than twice the rate of Palantir, making it a more attractive option for investors seeking exposure to the AI revolution. Moreover, NVIDIA's valuation, while still high, is far more reasonable when compared to Palantir's. In fact, NVIDIA's forward earnings multiple is only about one-third of Palantir's, making it appear relatively affordable in comparison. Despite NVIDIA's reputation as an expensive stock, it is important to recognize that its price-to-earnings ratio is supported by strong earnings earnings growth. In contrast, Palantir's valuation appears unsustainable, with a forward multiple that is difficult to justify given its slower earnings growth. The disparity in valuations between these two AI giants highlights why Nvidia may be the better investment moving forward. Additionally, sell-side analysts remain overwhelmingly bullish on Nvidia, with a consensus rating firmly in strong buy territory, and a projected upside of 10.7% over the next 12 months. By comparison, analysts are far more cautious about Palantir Palantir, assigning it a hold rating and forecasting a potential downside of 36.4% from its current price levels. This significant difference in analyst sentiment adds a further weight to the case for Nvidia as the superior investment. In conclusion, while both Nvidia and Palantir have had stellar performances in 2024, Nvidia emerges as the clear winner when comparing these two high-profile AI stocks. Nvidia's significantly cheaper valuation, combined with its superior earnings growth and strong analyst support, make it a more compelling choice for investors looking to capitalize on the AI wave. Palantir, while exciting, carries far more risk due to its sky-high valuation and limited margin for error. For investors seeking a smart play in the AI space, NVIDIA remains the better option. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.